from a childhood of poverty to global stardom. Tonight, Brazil and the rest of the world are celebrating the life of one of the greatest soccer stars of all time. Pelé has died at 82 after a battle with colon cancer. CBS 8's Jenny Day joins us in studio with more on his legacy and the impact he's had on San Diego soccer players. Jenny? Yeah, what a legend. Good evening to you both. Like President Biden said today, before there was Messi, Ronaldo, and Beckham, there was Pelé. When the world knows you by just one name, you have truly succeeded. Pelé was actually just a nickname, but he was a class act on and off the field. He has many stats we may never see again. He was the winner of three World Cup championships in 1958, 1962, and 1970. He grew up in the slums of Brazil, and it was his fancy footwork that took him to the top. He always said his talent was a gift from God. His style, dedication, and love of the game is why current La Jolla youth soccer coach Brian McManus tells his players to go back, watch, and learn from Pele's career. McManus also played professionally, coached the UCSD women's soccer team for three decades, and watched Pele back in the 50s and 60s. Nobody comes into the game the way he came in. He came in as a 17-year-old, playing his first World Cup, and he scores three goals in the semi-final and two in the final, it'll never be done again. That will never be done. Now, there is an outpouring of support tonight from around the world. Former President Obama saying Pele understood the power of sports to bring to the people together. FIFA saying that it was a joy to watch him play. The Tijuana Cholos writing online, rest in peace, King Pele. And in Brazil, you can imagine the president has declared a three-day mourning period. His own family also saying tonight that everything that we are is thanks to you. And I will leave you with this fun fact. When he retired from the sport back in 1977, he had scored a total of 1,281 goals. Uh, many of them very spectacular yes. as well. So impressive. True legend. Thanks, Jenny. Of course.